What's up, everyone? I'm John Brettinger. Welcome back to the episode of Techno Buffalo. This is the show where I get my geek on about cars. We drive cars, we talk about cars, and we just stare at beautiful set of headlights. Up this week, I want to talk all about Tesla because that's been going crazy in the news. Techno Buffalo is driven. Let's go ahead and get started. So Tesla and their CEO Elon Musk have been all over the news recently. We missed the Techno Buffalo Driven, we talked about the Hyperloop because the days just didn't match up. But the Hyperloop, if you don't know, is this crazy new mode of transportation that's being proposed by Elon Musk. Essentially what it is, is a vacuum tube that sucks you super fast. Uh, essentially it could get you from San Francisco to Los Angeles, Orange County area in about 20-ish minutes if everything works out. It's crazy futuristic. For those of you that don't know, it takes about seven, eight hours to drive that distance. There's a high-speed bullet train. It's going to cost an estimated $6 billion uh, plus to build. It's going to do that. And it's going to take you four hours to get there. So one seems better than the other. But of course, people think Elon Musk is crazy. This idea can never work. What about dust particles in the air? All kinds of other wackiness. Uh, but it is a very exciting, perhaps, new mode of transportation that, if proven feasible, could work for going all the way across the US or perhaps someday even underneath the ocean to go from New York to China in just about two hours. So pretty awesome. But that is a tangent. What I want to talk about is Elon Musk's baby, the flagship Tesla, the Model S. I've talked about it quite a bit in videos throughout the year and you can tell I got a bit of a man crush on the Model S. So we know a few things about it. First, it's got incredibly long range. Uh, the 80 kilowatt hour battery pack can go for 265 miles on EPA five cycle test. So there's no worries about range anxiety. The other concern people have is how long is it going to take to charge? Well, Tesla is building out fast superchargers that can charge your battery up 80% in about 10 to 15 minutes. So not as long as filling up a tank of gas, but it's pretty decent. Uh, but if you're in a rush, you can battery swap. You can put in a brand new battery in 90 seconds. Tesla showed this happening. In fact, they swapped two cars' batteries the time it took a guy to fill up the gas tank in an Audi. But of course, those stations aren't coming everywhere. They're more of a proof of concept that it's possible. But at least getting your car juiced up is not going to take the three, four, or five hours that it used to before Tesla got going with the charging. The next question people had was performance. How can an electric car perform? People think of electric cars and they sort of confuse them with hybrids. They see a Prius and think of a Leaf and they don't look very fast. They're sort of strange looking hatchback econo boxes. This is an incredibly fast car. In fact, its performance variant is faster than a base 911 which is absolutely incredible. So took care of that. What about safety? It's a new manufacturer, it's a new company. It's the first new successful, at least quasi successful thus far car manufacturer in the US in about 40 years. Uh, how safe can their car be? Well, this is where the story comes in. The National Highway Traffic Association, the NHSTA, did their safety test on the Model S. The results came back as being the safest car in the history of cars. Let me say that again. It is the safest car that has ever been tested for safety. This is a world where Volvo exists, where gigantic Tahoes exist. This includes SUVs. This car is incredibly safe. It's kind of interesting. So why is this brand new car so freaking safe? So a few reasons. First, it doesn't have an engine in the front. It's got a tiny little motor that lives in the back axle that propels the car forward to 60 uh, and as quick as 3.8 seconds. So there's nothing in the front to have to get out of the way. When you get in a front end collision, the engine has crumple zones on the car, goes over the engine, the engine sort of falls down to go underneath your feet. Uh, so they don't have that much room in front to put these sort of crumple zones that can protect you from head on collision. Without having any engine at all, the whole freaking front could be a gigantic crumple zone. Uh, so they really nailed it uh, in front safety. They have dual reinforced bumpers in the back, which is absolutely incredible. And really where things get interesting, uh, they do rollover tests and they see how hard it is to make a car roll over. The Tesla has their battery pack in the floor plan, making this thing really, really, really evenly balanced. They could not roll the car using traditional methods. Now, they had to actually use a forklift to push the car up a little bit and then drive it to get it to fall over. Absolutely incredible uh, how hard it is to roll this thing. And where things get even more interesting, uh, is how much pressure they had to put on the top of the car to get it to cave in. You know, you assume your car gets to roll over. Is the pressure of the car itself going to cause that top of the car to crush in uh, and injure the passengers? Uh, well, the Tesla broke the machine that tests the durability of the roof. What they said is you could essentially stack five Tesla Model S's on the roof of that car before you even consider caving in. It's absolutely incredible to see. So Elon Musk, 
sort of wanted to fluff his feathers out and talk about it. And he said, why, why is this car so safe? Uh, it was very interesting what he said. He said, traditional manufacturers know the points on a car where the safety tests are gonna be made. So they'll make sure that those points are really, really reinforced. Uh, what Tesla did, they knew those points and they checked every other point on the car so they could be tested at any angle, any time to get that five star crash rate. And they actually were the first car to get five stars in every single category. In fact, Elon Musk said they actually got a 5.4 star, which the NH STA said doesn't even exist. So this is an incredibly safe car. It's a big car, it's a performance car. It's got seating for five. You could put two extra jump seats in the back and seat seven. This is a car that has as much storage as most SUVs via the back hatch and the front trunk. It's completely electric. It's made in America, American jobs, American engineering. Uh, the cars are assembled in the US. Uh, the batteries are brought in from Panasonic from Japan, but everything else here is sourced in the United States, which is absolutely incredible. It's sort of an American car company, an American story that you can sort of start to believe in again. And the stock has been going through the freaking roof. Uh, trading as low as in the 30s last year. Last I checked this time this filming, it was hovering around 160. This is an incredible story. Uh, in my mind, Tesla should be mentioned in the same vein as Ford, as GM, Toyota, and Honda, and should not be mentioned in the same vein as other failed manufacturers like DeLorean and Fisker. This is a car company that's gonna be here for the long haul. It's a company that's really looking to change the way we think about electric vehicles and change the way we think about transportation. I am excited for the future of Tesla. They got their next model, the Model X coming. It's a crossover SUV with crazy Falcon wing doors uh, coming sometime next year. Going to be followed up a few years later by a smaller, less expensive $30,000 to $40,000 car that can go 200 miles on pure electric. And that's where we're really going to see this crazy market penetration. It's a beautiful car. It's an American car. Even if you don't care about the green side of things, think about instant torque, being able to plug in your car at home. And every time you leave your house, you are leaving with essentially a full tank of gas. It's absolutely awesome. You don't have to worry about filling up. Uh, you can get a less expensive 60 kilowatt hour pack. It's going to get you 200 miles per charge. You can go anywhere you need to go without really ever having to worry. Supercharged are popping up like crazy. They can cross country travel a piece of cake. Anyway, guys, I just want to talk about the Tesla because it's just really incredible as a sort of a proud American, as someone who loves the auto industry. Uh, it's just really neat to see the growth of this company and be able to see what they're doing uh, and sort of have faith in what we can do and have faith for the future of transportation and perhaps the future of electric transportation. So leave your comments down below. What do you think? Am I just drinking the Kool-Aid? Am I way off base? I want to hear your comments. Thank you guys for watching the episode of Techno and Buffalo Journey. Be sure to subscribe right here to the tech feed for the latest and greatest tech news. Until then, I am John Rettinger, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.